Bomber. And we do not is have gameplay. Now we have Israel? gameplay. It's, it is real. Okay. Yeah, because Bobby is on a date right now. The man has divided attention. So. Bobby, are you on a date right now? I don't know. Like, I, I just, I heard like a couple weeks ago that he was like actually running a stream from a date. And I was like, wow, that's actually really impressive if he can do that. Because um, I could not. But, uh. Steve, am I on MA fellow BU lad? No, I am not. I go to Northeast. Okay, so far, DM doing okay, down a bit, but down a bit. But I wow. feel like the lead doesn't matter a whole lot in this matchup, just because both characters are pretty light, right? And pretty explosive yeah. advantage states. So a, a, a 15 differential is not that big a deal. This is true. This is true. Oh, really nice down here. Actually, mixing up the timing of his landing and hitting uh, DM as well. That's neat. That's neat. All right, Bobby is not on a date. He's simply doing a million things. Understandable. I can't even count that high. That's crazy that you're doing that many things. Yeah, like, how many things is that? Like, that's, that's a larger number than, uh, than the brain can comprehend, you know? If you even have a brain to comprehend things with. True, true. Hey, Cobbler, well, it's every Thursday, so you can uh, come next week. Yeah, this is true. Every Thursday See you at there. 7 p.m. Uh, EST. At the, at the Ballast, Ballast, right? So. Ooh, oh, cute, wow. cute. Is that technically Hydro Pump? What That's is the name pump, of that move? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, up B is Hydro Pump. Wet. Down B is Counter. Side B is Shadow Sneak. And uh, neutral B is Water Shirt. What's the forward air? We were talking about that earlier. But I, don't, I don't think that's a Pokemon move, because like, I don't think there's any Pokemon move that does that. That would almost be like a Water-type Leaf Blade, maybe? <laughs> that's right? what Alchemy said. Yeah, like, that's all I can think of with that. It's bubble beam. It's just really condensed. Just condensed dense, bubble beam energy. Dense bubbles. Yeah. Regardless, uh, you know, we last time we talked about this match, it was fairly even. Uh, but that was a whole stock ago, and things have not changed much. <laughs> the last time we talked about it was a stock ago. Uh, and it is quite even. Looks like DM is yeah, DM starting to get a bit, some more footing here. Yeah, he took a little bit of an advantage there, but did end up dropping his combo there, only taking 26% uh, on Ubi there. So, uh, going to get another opportunity here, but drops it as well. Does yeah, not see the SDI behind him. for the loops. Oh, oh there's the that DM one's big. slam dunk. That one's really big. I feel like in any match where, you know, like both uh, players are kind of going even, going back and forth in neutral, getting about the same amount in uh, advantage. If you can really get like a really big advantage sequence like that, that'll a lot of the time swing momentum totally in your favor. Right, yes. DM, DM's still trying to work off that momentum right now, and it, I'd say for the most part it's working. We'll be trying to get their head back in the game. Yeah, for sure, man. Get that focus back in. Going for the... Oh, oh no! And that looks like... I'm pretty sure DM actually did die to that back air. It was um, about to. Yeah, like, it stock, looks like yeah. Ubi died at like one frame before DM was going to. Yep. But Ubi did fast fall a little bit too low and is going to end up taking that game for himself. DM up. And go. Okay, okay, I was going to say, are we going to, to Battlefield Smash? Smashville? Okay. Going to Smashville. I now, actually do like this because this gives Pika less room to run away from Greninja. Right, less, and at that point, less theoretical there. neutral B spam if, yeah. if that's something that it boils down to. And Pika's going to have to, like, more of the stage is within Greninja's burst range, which means more of the buttons that DM presses are right. going to the be within the range that Greninja can, or uh, that Ubi can just, like, punish on reaction with that. Yes, the percentage of the stage that is taken up by Greninja's hitboxes is increased, is yeah. which is a bigger deal for Greninja than it is for Pika. Exactly. Oh. Going to end up making that Mother one. I think he saved him with the quick attack. Yeah, he might have. Might have been able to come back, though, with, with like, a, a vertical enough Hydro Pump. Hard to tell. Maybe, yeah. That was, like, right on the edge. Of we'll, have, we'll have to run the numbers and post, you know, <laughs> see see what that looks like. I'd be so happy if we got, DM, like... Yeah, you're such a slime dog. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, here comes the moves. Oh, a little bit uh, too far for that back here. You can DI if you're a fast faller, starting on the third one. And Ubi does just that, escaping a fourth. So, good stuff to him. That's what makes that comp that uh, that back air so scary as a combo starter, right? It's like it doesn't send you into tumble over percent, so you literally can't DI it. Um, but you know, Ubi's played this matchup a few times, so he knows when he can start DIing and escapes as Who, soon as he can. Who needs DI anyways? 
Yeah, who needs you to know? die when you're a frog, man? <laughs> you think frogs know about directional influence? No. They got tongues and they jump. That's all you need to know. Good DI there from the frog. Yeah, yeah of um, course, of course. Okay. Well, I was starting to wonder if... See, that that was somewhat uncharacteristic to okay. me. Uh, now, I've only been watching Ubi, Ubi tonight. Mm. Um, but generally, Ubi has been going for a lot of aggressive options. Yes. In that edge guarding situation, right before the the loss of the stock, Ube just kind of took it easy, air dodged, and drifted back to ledge. And I thought for sure we we're going to see like a down air trying to come yeah. out from from Ubi or or falling back air or something, maybe nair, but just playing it safe. Which yeah, I can I can agree with that for sure. And that's something that. Um that's something that, like, you know, he also was doing really well in uh, this last game, right, in this set. Because, um, like, yeah, he did lose, but it was, it was pretty close. Like, it was fine. Right, right. Um, and that's something that I feel like Ubi's been really good about, um, this set in particular, is unlike a lot of our other competitors that we've had here tonight, he has not really been, like, trying to force reversals and disadvantage that much, you know? Because I feel like I say that, like, at least once a set um, for people being greedy, right? Yeah. And Ubi just has not done that this set, so... Good on him for that, for sure. Can you believe DM just tried to do whatever that was? Just, yeah, just try to end the game. Because yeah. it's like, because sure. of the buffer system, you either have to tech or not tech if you're the defender, but you don't know whether Pika's going to fastball and drop you out <laughs> right. or not. So. Great tech from Ubi there. That's a tough move to tech yeah. sometimes. Like, it's literally a 50-50 where Pika lives either way. And it's like, one of the many things that makes Pika uh, so strong of a character in this game and so frustrating to fight in uh, some matchups. Especially matchups like this one where your recovery does not have a hitbox. Right, yep. Oh, nice frame trap here. Oh, Can he keep it going? No, I feel like if, if he was a little bit quicker, or maybe if he'd um, yep. like dash attack to the left instead of F-tilt, I think he might have been able to keep that going. Right. But unfortunately, he is going to drop it and drop that game along with it. So DM is going to go up 2-0 here. Got to pull something together here if you're Ubi. Yeah, I'm thinking about what the play is. Okay. What do you Ubi. think the play is, King? Talk to me. I got called a king. Um, I think the play is. I mean, it's tough because Pikachu just owned. Um, <laughs> look right here first, guys. If you're at, fighting Pikachu and you're getting messed up, throw in the towel. Throw <laughs> it up. Just, go just go home. Make yourself a nice bowl of soup. Put on some anime. Relax. Um, but as you were saying, Kalos, though, interesting. So I think. The idea here, mm -hmm. potentially, and not that Pikachu doesn't benefit from this, but I with mean, those... I mean, Pikachu, like, you know, if you're trying to counterpick Pikachu with stages, like, that's a crapshoot. Right. I would, I would give that up. It's less of a counterpick um, and more about, like, okay, what should what I try like. that I haven't done yet type yeah. of thing. It's and less so, about what Pika doesn't like and more about what you'd like. Right. So I, I think potentially what Ubi is thinking of is dying uh, uh, and with, no. the, with the JV stock here. Um, dying on Zero to death, yeah. rather. But... The, those platforms that extend out can really help Greninja get kills with uh, with forward air. Okay. And just being being able to be more mobile and and cover faster space to get off stage for some of the forward air follow ups that Greninja often has mm -hmm. going off stage. But I mean, this is this is painful right now. This is yeah, this, this is, is rough. Tough. I don't know if we're really going to see that type of play at this point because Ubi is just no, if, overwhelmed you know, right No, in order to make advantage or in order to take advantage of the things that uh, you know you're talking about you have to win neutral and that's just <laughs> right. not something that Ubi you have to you game. have to connect a hit for that yeah. to happen and right now be, we haven't had a ton of those yeah you have to be in a situation you know where your opponent's on the back foot and uh, that is just not something that uh, DM has been on is right now for one of the first times this entire set yeah um, but gonna be able to make it back to neutral oh my goodness up throw, no thunder. Oh, and connects oh, wow. it. Yeah, Actually good. It. A little okay. bit of patience on, not a ton. Like, not, it, uh, I call that micro patience. You okay. waited a hair yeah. to make sure that you kind of got that follow up. No, that was a reaction. Yeah, for sure. That was not a read. I thought Ubi had DI'd far enough to the left to actually not get hit by the thunder, but I think he DI'd like up left. Um, so he wasn't far enough over to not get hit by the thunder. So, unfortunate stuff there. Now he's oh, getting loot. No, yeah, nobody's having yeah. fun here. That's the uh, that's one negative negative element of, of Kalos is that yep. the, the the middle of the stage is FD and that type of stuff can happen often. Yeah, for sure. I don't think that I think a lot of people say pretty often. Wow. Very nice counter here. Yep. Uh, excuse me, double team. But I feel like a lot of people say that uh, isn't that substitute? Is it? No, Lucario's is double team. That one's substitute. It's got the doll. <laughs> yeah. 
or the log in this case, but speaking of logs, sinking like a log, which doesn't All right, sink. Man. I was gonna say, like, how are you gonna do that? Like, how Locks are you gonna don't do sink, it? And DM sinking like a log, in which case yeah, DM sinking like a log not directly sinking into these grand finals. And going to so, grand. Yeah. Any logs in chat? Any, any loggers in chat? Anybody? I, I do feel like um, like a lot of people compare Kalos to FD kind of erroneously. Like I don't think that those stages are actually. Oh, for sure. Like, they're I different. I don't think they're really interchangeable. Uh, I just mean a few the fact ups. that in the center you've got but, quite a bit of yeah. no platform. Like for a Pikachu bit. in particular, I think is one where 